What's up, guys? It's Anthony from Mining Key Cinnaminson. Uh, working on a regular customer's car here. He's uh, in for brakes, tires, and a suspension check. So what we're going to discuss today is uh, how to do a proper brake inspection. Um, obviously, the vehicle's on the lift, and I've already done the preliminaries, which is a road test. Uh, and what you want to check on the road test is the brake pedal height. Does the parking brake work? Uh, does the parking brake release? Does it hold? Is the pedal high, low, feed? vibrations and noises so most people don't realize that when you hit your brakes it should be a smooth stop from any speed and the brake pedal shouldn't go to the floor um, so we're at the wheels right now and we're going to go through some conditions so I have this part right now which is the right rear wheel so once you remove the caliper you're going to inspect the caliper piston and you can see the dust boot has a tear in it um, so I would definitely recommend replacing this caliper even though it's not required that's just letting moisture and water and dirt inside there. It's working now, but it's not 100%. So we're going to lift the brake pads out. We're going to inspect the brake pad linings. So this is the metal part. This is the wear sensor. Okay, so this is here. That usually sticks past the brake pad and starts making noise at the wheels. So you can see this one's broke off. Just because the brake pads are just above the wear sensors uh, doesn't mean that the brakes are good. It's time for replacement. These are worn way past the uh, brake pad indicator, wear indicator. You can see here that the top, it's almost did nothing. This side, it has some material. So that's the inboard brake pad. and also has pressure cracks in it. Here's the outboard brake pad. All right, so it's got lines, grooves, and a crack in it. Even though it has material, it's still not good. I actually see at the very top here where my thumb's at, it's starting to separate from the backing. So that's another condition. So these are bad, they've been bad for a while. Once you get the rotor off, you can inspect the parking brake assembly, make sure that's okay. This is a shoe, it looks good. Then you're going to inspect the rotor. So you can see the surface is all chewed up, the top piece is rust pitted, the surfaces are bad. Uh, so even though the outside of the rotor looks okay, you can see a lot of surface is rusted away. I don't ever recommend machining a rotor. You take life away from it, you make it thinner, and uh, it doesn't dissipate heat very well. I wouldn't be overly concerned with how much contact on the inside of the brake rotor that the parking brakes are uh, touching, uh, because most people don't use them a whole lot. So I expect to see this uh, in New Jersey. So. You can see all the scores, rust pitting. You know, anybody who comes in and the brake pads are low and the rotors are showing us, it's time for a brake service. Uh, we'll take it to the front, front brakes. I have them apart. Okay, pressure cracks, uneven wear. So this brake pad actually still looks good, all right? But that's only one. You can see pressure crack, pressure crack from the heat. You're going to inspect the caliper. Some rust pinning inside the pistons, you know, on an older vehicle like this. Expect that as long as it moves freely and there's no signs of it hanging up. You want to inspect the brake hose for rot on the metal side at the banjo. Any tears in the brake hoses or cracks. You want to inspect the flanges for rust buildup. You want to inspect the caliper bridge clean all the dirt and debris out of here so it slides properly. The sliders, okay, every car has sliding pins. You want to make sure that they slide in and out. You can see these have been well lubricated. They weren't stuck. Uh, and then in the, in the back, I'll just give you another indication. These are the sliders for the back brakes. You want to just give them a tug and make sure that they move properly. All right, uh, inspect the parking brake cables. You want to make sure that they're not broken. Um, you'll see blistering and bolstering, and they still may work, but they definitely need to be inspected. Thanks for watching.